you doing today, Manish? I'm doing great. Hey, how are you doing, Sherrod? Doing good. How was your weekend? It was great. Had some good food, you know, relaxing. On to a new work week. Very nice. Well, you know we have a very special episode here for you today. Um, today we're going to talk about how um, we have remained such good friends over the years and kind of share that with, with everyone, especially two of our really good friends, Harleen and Nav up in Toronto. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hope y'all are doing well. Sorry we couldn't be there. But we hope to be able to share some good insight for you guys. Um, and we're going to kind of go through a list of things and just hopefully it'll help you. You know, it's helped us over the years. First, we know that you're going to be spending a lot of time with each other, but really try to take time to have your own separate time away from each other. But now, I really want you to be careful because Harleen has studied the Julie Hasty and Mona Lisa's Guide to Stalking Effectively. And recently they came out with a spousal edition. So I would be very careful, and I know that she's ordered a copy. We stalked her and found out. The one thing about the, the stalking, though, is you never know who's watching you. So you always want to be presentable and make sure that you help each other become stay presentable. One thing that's always important is keeping a mirror around. Yeah. Mirror check! Hmm. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Well, looks aren't everything. The key to a good relationship is the food that you eat. And we always suggest Panera Bread. Everyone enjoys choices, especially when they're fresh, fun, and spontaneous. Right now, at Panera Bread, there are plenty of tempting selections to captivate, tantalize, and energize your bread lover's soul as we celebrate variety, choices, and a hearty new soup. And you might not know this, but the nearest location coming to you soon is in Square One Shopping Center, 100 City Center Drive. Call 905-279-7467 for regular updates on when the nearest location is coming to you. So after you've made sure that you look good in the mirror, so it's always good to go with your, you know, whoever you're with and go for a good walk, you know, but you've got to make sure that you have a good, comfortable pair of shoes, preferably have them under five inches. Like Manish. You also need comfortable shoes when you're traveling. The great, and I believe that you guys will be doing a lot of that. Now, don't trust Harleen when it comes to, to directions. You never know where you might end up. And if Harleen is driving at any point, you must be very specific and give gestures of where you want to go. We will demonstrate to help you out. Go right. Go left. Go straight. Very good. So while we're talking about traveling, you never know when your friends may come up to travel, or although what we like to call them trolls. Now trolls can come unannounced um, and very unexpectedly for long periods of time. Sometime it may seem like, seem like they're moving in. They require three meals a day, a soft area to sleep, and a good area for them to take a good troll bath. We actually have somebody here with us today, Mary, um, who's going to talk about her experience with trolls. Hi, Sherrod. Hi, Manish. Hello, hey, Mary. how are you, Hi. Mary? Good, and you? Tell us about your experience with trolls. Well, trolls are great. Um, dog especially loves licking trolls. Um, but, you know, sometimes they do come unprepared and, and may wake you in the middle of the night so that you can prepare a snack for them. Other than that, they're great. So beware of trolls, everyone. They do like snacks. And hopefully soon, we will be able to join you as trolls, as unfortunately we couldn't be there with you today. The last and most important part of a relationship is the happy ending. Congratulations. We love you guys. And remember, the happy ending will last a lifetime.